Hi, in this video we're going to look at a visual example. What does it mean when we're adding and subtracting like fractions? So again, if we have like fractions, that means that we have the same denominator. Okay, so for example, if we want to add these two fractions, this fraction here, well we, we see we have two parts shaded out of a total of five, so this is two-fifths and this fraction here again we have two parts shaded out of a total possible in this unit of five so this is also two-fifths so we're going to add two-fifths plus two-fifths well if we imagine we take the two-fifths from the top fraction and move the two-fifths to combine them with the other two-fifths shade these in what do we have we have a total of one two three four fifths. So four fifths is our answer. So this is a visual of what we're doing when we're adding fractions that have the same denominator. Let's look at an example with subtraction. Here we have four fifths. We're starting with four fifths. You can see we have four parts shaded out of a total possible of five in this one unit. And we're going to subtract two fifths. So we're going to take away two-fifths. Well, if we start with four-fifths and then we take away two, what do we have left? Well, we have one two-fifths left. So this shows us visually what we're doing when we add and subtract like fractions. We'll take a look at the actual steps that we follow in another video. But essentially, just by looking at these examples, we can notice when we added two-fifths plus two-fifths, what we actually added was the numerator. Two plus two is what gives us four, and denominator five stays the same. In this case with subtraction, four minus two is two, and denominator of five stays the same. So we can see with these examples why visually this makes sense.